So for me, it is the cosmos. Yeah. You put your planets in first. <laughs> As your anchors, you know, you got Mars, you got Venus, you got Earth. Boom, that goes up, right? Once I, those things are in line to go up and they go up, it's like, it's, it's gravy. They have already dictated what your, not only what your rhythm is, but what your emotional pull will be, you know? Whether or not these two elements can work together, two larger things, will they fight each other, you know? Or will they come together to actually make harmony? Something as massive as that up here, which looks like a rug, it sort of controls a huge amount of the composition. Fat man over here, it holds the wall. So you want to sort of realize, you know, like, okay, this has to have its own space. Over there you have, you know, you need to start to balance it. Then I come in and I begin to sort of put in accents of color. Boom, boom, boom. Lastly, elements to give the actual composition movement. Boom, 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 okay? Keep it moving, keeps it moving, keeps it moving, keeps it moving, you know? And believe me, if I decided to sort of take this huge thing and put it over there, you would have a different understanding of this as a composition. This one actually has its, its, its life, its being, because it's in this space and it's shaped by this space. You know, there's definitely a sort of a, a alchemy that's uh, involved in all levels because then for like when I was rusting things, uh, now I'm burning things. Uh, I mean, I'm using the weather and I'm learning how to also become the weather in order to sort of create things. So there's never a time when there is not a supposed a natural force that either I'm using or echoing. I'm always one way or another learning from the viewer. So they're complicit in finishing or completing the work. Allowing, you know, uh, you know, the works to be numbered and not titled. If I gave it a title, then you'd be clued in on supposedly what I'm thinking about, you know. A number, it's just a catalog, and, you know, like, uh, and that's it. The very idea that, uh, that this gallery has a lineage to like Africa, like the continent in general, uh, we're talking abstraction, its beginnings are in the continent, mother, the motherland. <laughs> so I think that like uh, having um, uh, this kind of come back around uh, with uh, introducing what I do as an abstractionist, uh, going back to Africa and you know, to its, it's, its roots, it's, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect situation, you know.